Hello, I'm John Snader, President and CEO at Brethren Village, providing you with an important COVID-19 coronavirus update. Using guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Pennsylvania Department of Health, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, Brethren Village will be moving to a single point of entry and exit at 1 o'clock p.m. today, Thursday, March 19. That means that all entrances and exits to Brethren Village will be closed and all traffic will flow through the campus entrance at Airport Road and Fairview Drive. You may have seen the hut we set up for this purpose. The hut will be staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every team member, resident, and visitor to campus will be screened before entering the campus. This means that we are discouraging residential living visitors on our campus. If you rely on visitors for caregiving, please alert them of this extra step before being admitted to your building. Given their answers to the screening questions, team members and visitors may not be admitted to the campus. All residential living residents are reminded to take their FOB with them at all times as all buildings will be locked under this new guidance and procedure. Now let me repeat that. Please take your key fob every time you leave your apartment as all entrance doors will be locked at all times. Now this is the same as night mode on campus. All residential living residents will only be able to enter their own building and Fieldcrest C to get takeout food, check mail, and play wellness games in the great room in groups of less than 10. So to recap, family is strongly discouraged on campus except for caregivers. Village Center, which includes the bank, pharmacy, and store, and Fieldcrest store will remain open to residents, but bring your fob. Our dining venues, Chives and the Village Center Bistro, remain open for takeout service only. Residents are encouraged to shelter in place and minimize travel. Package delivery will be allowed on campus. If you take a step back and look at what we've put into place so far, I draw your attention to the following. First, we took steps to isolate our most vulnerable residents, and then gradually expanded the circle from there. Now, we're expanding the circle to encapsulate our entire campus in an abundance of caution to keep our residents safe and their virus away from our campus. We acknowledge that this is your home. You will need groceries, outside amenities, and essential services. You are welcome to leave campus knowing that you will be screened upon your return. As independent living residents, you do have autonomy, but with that comes responsibility. If you think you may have been exposed, or if you have any symptoms, we're asking you to self-isolate and contact your social worker. Be healthy and be smart. Use the CDC and DOH guidelines for practicing hand hygiene, social distancing, and respiratory containment. Folks, we need to prepare for what might be a very long time. So what can you do? Well, if you're heading to the grocery store, ask a neighbor if they need anything. Bring your hallmate their takeout order. Please gather in groups of less than 10 to read, do a puzzle, or play games. And use your phone to call your family. Now, news is changing quickly. Please be sure to tune in to our regular communication channels for updates. Also, you and your families can go to our website, www.bv.org, for the latest information on what BV is doing in response to COVID-19. Thank you for your attention and for your understanding.